Yo, what's up guys, Coach KP here, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can bulletproof your hamstrings so that you can prevent injury and keep playing at an elite level. So before we get started, make sure you guys smash the like button, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and turn on post notifications. So we know that hamstring injuries are complex, so to give yourself the best chance of preventing that from happening, you need to target the hamstrings using exercises that involve eccentric loading, isometrics, and even high-speed movements. So the first exercise is what I call a single leg hamstring iso bridge. So you're gonna start out laying on the ground, flat on your back, you can have your hand on the ground to support you, then you're going to extend your leg. You're gonna lift your toes up so that you're on your heels. You're gonna elevate your hips off the ground. So at this point, you should already feel your hamstrings and you're going to take one leg up. And you're gonna hold this position for about 20 to 30 seconds or whatever you can tolerate. If that's too challenging, you could do this double leg and just make sure you're squeezing your glutes feeling your hamstrings, and you want to keep your pelvis neutral, right? You want to keep it nice and straight, and you're going to hold this position for as long as you can tolerate. So the second exercise is called a single leg glider eccentric leg curl. So we're gonna start out laying flat on our back again. We're going to Elevate the glutes off the ground, lift one leg up in the air, and then we're going to slowly extend that leg. Again, elevate, slowly come down. Up, one leg up. Try to slow it down. So you could do this for about six to eight reps per leg. If that's too challenging, you could do this starting off with two legs, right? Elevate the hips and then just slowly extend your legs. So the third exercise is just a progression from the second one. We're going to start out on our backs again. We're going to elevate our hips, raise one leg up. And so now we're adding that leg curl back up. So after you do the extension, then you're just gonna pull it back to your glutes. Two, three. So you could do this for about six to eight reps per leg. Again, if it's too challenging, you could do it with two legs and then just kind of curl for six to 10 reps. So the fourth exercise is called a single leg hamstring march. So what we're gonna do is we're going to actually get a mini band, wrap it around our feet. You're gonna get into that supine position on your back. And we're going to extend from the hips. We're gonna make sure that we're on our heels, toes up, and that we're extended from the legs. Then we're going to just simply march adding a little bit of a hip flexor movement to this exercise. So not only are we working on isometrically strengthening our hamstring, but we're also working on our hip flexors. Rep ranges can be around six to 10 reps, and you can add a little bit of a pause at the top. Make sure that your toes are pointed towards you. Keep your core tight. So 
So the fifth exercise is called a single leg hamstring drop catch. So again, we're on our backs. We're going to start out right with our, with our legs 90 degrees, hips up, and we're going to just have one leg raised. And I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to kick out in extension and then catch myself. And then I'm going to drop both legs to reset. Same position. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you comment below and let me know what you think about these exercises. Until next time, Coach KP out.